And good afternoon and welcome back here to WRMG Television 12 and TV 97. Jack Ivy Broadcasting, your hometown station, bringing you hometown events. I'm David Leatherwood, and we're on the beautiful campus of Northeast Mississippi Community College as they are hosting the game this afternoon as the Boonville Blue Devils are hosting the Belmont Cardinals. And this will be varsity action here this afternoon on a beautiful afternoon in Boonville, Mississippi. Temperatures running about 65. And got a light breeze. It's blowing uh, kind of out in center field by about nine miles, up to nine miles here and there. But a beautiful afternoon, just a few clouds in the sky here on a beautiful artificial turf at Boonville on Northeast Mississippi Community College campus. And we'd like to thank a few of our sponsors for having us here and being able to bring you this broadcast. Johnny's Four Wheelers and Mowers, military family owned business. He works on and services his merchandise. He has zero turn mowers side by side for adults and kids. Four wheelers, pontoon boats, golf carts, and more. Located at Highway 19 in Red Bay, 256 919 1804, and also 256 810 795. Sonic and Belmont and Iuka, they are your morning drink stop. Large soft drink starting at 99 cents. They have happy hour two to, day, two to four daily, half price soft drinks. Slushes and teas, and if you download the Sonic app and place your order on there, you'll receive special offers, and on the app, it's happy hour all day, every day. Iuka, 662-423-9100, and the Belmont, 662-454-3070. Also, Econo Storage, the only climate control storage in the area, owner Haskell Parks, located in Belmont and Tishomingo. He has a units available at 662-423-8767. Also, this afternoon's broadcast is brought to you by Best Way Incorporated in Golden. Stop by and visit them for all your safety, chemical, janitorial, and traffic control needs. They have over 40 years with experienced, friendly staff to assist you. Also, the Tishomingo County School Board and Superintendent Christy Holly would like to wish Tishomingo County High School and Belmont a great school year. Good luck to the Cardinals. Also, Tri-State Insurance Agents Kim Wells, Kalen Wells, Mike Moore, Christy Mayo, Brenda Purser. Locations in Belmont and Red Bay. Call them at Belmont at 662-454-3304 or 256-356-4804 in Red Bay. Whether it be insuring your vehicle, home, motorcycle, four-wheeler, boat, RV, farm, or business, we have a policy that can be tailored for you. We are licensed in Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee. That is Tri-State Insurance. Happy Hollow Outdoors. They have a great large variety of gifts. They got seasonal gifts. They got baby gifts. They got bridal registry, baby registry, items for pets and women's, as well as sporting goods with a sundry of items to include golf, disc golf, uh, baseball, softball, football, golf selection of regular golf, golf apparel. They even have two golf simulators to check your swing. That's Happy Holla Outdoors in Red Bay. Tracy Arnold, your District 3 House of Representatives, says good luck to the Belmont Cardinals. You want top-notch internet no matter where you live in Tishomingo County? Then get a hold of Tishomingo Connect. They're here for you, 662-423-3646. Pro Finishes, Highway 25 South in Belmont. That's Ricky McGee. He'll do a free estimate. He is your RV Collision Center. You can reach him at 256-224-8447. This afternoon's broadcast is also brought to you by Casey Lott, owner of the largest personal injury firm in northeast Mississippi with attorneys licensed in Mississippi, Tennessee, and Alabama. Casey and his team of attorneys specialize in personal injury and pharmaceutical liability. Call Casey Lott for your legal needs, 662-554-4000. Southeast Surplus, Mr. Edwin Bowling. At Highway 25 South in Belmont, he's been your steel product headquarters for 18 years. We install what we sell. We have auto chemicals, chainsaws, blowers, trimmers, outdoor power equipment. Call Edwin Bowling and staff at 454-7484. Also Napa at 97 Main Street in Belmont. Locally owned and operated with employees, experienced employees, Phil Byman and staff say good luck to the Cardinals. 662-454-9754. 
Also, good luck to the Cardinals from Stacy Step, your District 5 Tishomingo County School Board member. Also, go see J.C. Weeks and his friendly staff at Redmont Pharmacy, 356-9000. Wildflowers, unique flowers and gifts in Belmont. Misty and Dusty Brandon, they're located at 106 Main Street. If you're planning a wedding in the future, come by and see us. We can make your wedding dreams come true at any budget. 662-545-1033. Inspirational for women. Your hometown one-stop shop where fashion and comfort come together. Go see Tammy and, Tammy and her girls for all your personalization, baby school and spirit or gifting needs. Located in Golden on the Red Bud Road, 662-454-1061. 1061. Like them on Facebook or Instagram. Also, the Red Bay Hospital, taking care of our neighbors close to home. Vice President is Sherry Jolly. 356 9532. They have a 24-hour ER care with low wait times, experienced, well-trained staff. They also have a, a well care center. And you contact Mr. Chris Austin at 356 1160 or 1162. The Lawn Tech, Mr. Adam Pruitt. Been in business doing landscape for 10 years. Licensed in Mississippi and Alabama, 662-312-9948. Also, Dr. Cameron Bonds at the North Mississippi Medical Center. Schedule an appointment with Dr. Bonds at his medical center there in Iuka, 662-423-6014. Allen and Harden, heating and cooling. They've been in business for 47 years. They've been to... Factory authorized York Heating and Cooling Dealer for three generations. That's Allen and Nash Harden, 662-356-8913. And I'm going to pause real quick as we'll go with the starting lineups here. For the home team, the Boneville Blue Devils, you've got Tracy Miller playing shortstop. You've got Colin Flurry at third. You got Jack Sandlin, the designated hitter, number 16, Sawyer Ritchie, the left fielder. You got number one, Clark Jansen, playing down at first. He's a Northeast commit. You've got number 23, Jacob Matthews. He's catching this afternoon. You got 26, Brian Sailors in right field. And you got number 10, Corbin White. He's playing down at second. And then you got number six, Riley Barnes, he's playing in center field. And then you got number 15, Casey Lott. He's going to be on the mound this afternoon pitching for the Boonville Blue Devils. And for the Belmont Cardinals, you've got starting leading off is going to be number 24, Southmore Peyton Farr. He's going to be down at second. You got number one, Colin West, a senior. He'll be playing shortstop. Number seven, Braden Hoban. He's a senior, going to be on the mound. Number 10, Braden Smith, he's going to be catching. That's the junior. Number three, Brody Giles, the seniors at third. 21, Kyer Clark, he's a junior. And then you got number, Drew Edmondson, number 15. And you got number 18, Parker Stanley, he's going to be in right field. You got Chris Reagan in center field. And you got Canyon Wright, and that ball's going to be hit out to center field for out number one. Shallow fly ball to outfield by Peyton Farr. So he drives the first pitch deep at shallow center for out number one. And now coming to the plate is going to be number one, Colin West. He's the shortstop for the Belmont Cardinals. He is a senior. And he's going to hit that ball, a dribbler down the third baseline foul. Four strike number one. And this is varsity action here on WRMG Television 12 and 97. Hey, if you're out there watching our broadcast, we ask that you share it. If you're over on YouTube watching it on the big screen, and if you didn't know you could watch it, you could pull up the YouTube app, look for Jack Ivey. And have it on the big screen there in your living room or bedroom, wherever you watch ball games from. And now the count's going to be no balls, two strikes here to the number two hole hitter, Colin West. That pitch is wide and outside from Cade Lott. 
Four ball number one. That makes you count now. One ball, two strikes with one out. And nobody on here for the Cardinals. He's going to hit that ball. It's going to go back up the middle. It's going to be fielded by the short top. Long throw to first in time for out number two. So two away here. And now coming to the plate is going to be number seven, Braden Hodum. Braden is going to be on the mound this morning pitching for the Cardinals. And varsity action here in Boonville. I guess the Boonville Blue Devils in Region 1, 3A baseball action. Holden takes that pitch inside for ball number one. Takes that pitch outside, so the count's going to be 2-0 oh now. If you're watching for the Cardinals, say go Cards. If you're watching for the Boomer Blue Devils, let's go say, say let's go Devils. And the count now is three and zero here to hold them with two outs. He takes that pitch inside, so he'll draw the walk. And now coming to the plate is going to be number 10, the junior, Braden Smith. He's catching this afternoon. And we're going to have number 20. That's going to be Elijah Rogers coming in the courtesy run for Hodum, who's going to be pitching this inning. And Braden Smith comes to the plate now. Braden is going to be facing two outs with a runner down at first. He's going to hit that ball. It's going to be an infield fly. Second baseman going back. Short out. Right fielder comes in. Calls him off. Makes the play. So after a half here, the Cardinals will leave one stranded. And if we we'll move into the bottom of the first inning, and varsity action here, Region 1, 3A baseball here on the campus of Northeast Mississippi Community College. Also sponsoring this afternoon's game is Ronald Thorne, your good neighbor insurance agent, now writing insurance in Mississippi from his Red Bay office located at 114 4th Avenue Southeast in Red Bay. For home, auto, personal, or whatever you need may, may be, come by and see Ronald Thorne, your State Farm, a State Farm agent, 256-356-4459. JR's Wholesale and Boutique is your bargain headquarters located on Old Highway 25 North. They got great prices on men's jeans and women's jeans, as well as household cleaning supplies, tools, and grocery items. Our inventory changes daily at JR's Hotel and Boutique in Iuka. Mac Wildman, your Tishomingo County Corner, said good luck to all the Tishomingo County teams. Also, Big Star of Belmont said good luck to the Cardinals. Sammy Hell and his staff really appreciate your business. They are open seven days a week. Stone Jewelry, family owned and operated for 43 years with locations in Ripley and Tupelo. Our specialty is engagement rings and making the customer happy. They'll do jewelry repairs in the store. When you think of jewelry, think of stones. Good luck to the Cardinals from Joanne and Teresa. Also, the staff at Belmont Medical Clinic and Heather Edmondson, the nurse practitioner, they would like for you to contact them for an appointment at 662-454-3401. Also sponsoring this afternoon's game is Tishomingo County Republican Party. Good luck to the Cardinals. Belmont Mayor Buddy Wilshire and Alderman Steve Smith, Mike Harris, Sonia Harris, Grand Farm, Ken Delaney, wish the Cardinals the best of luck. Also, Jazz Mini Stories, owner Amy and Jesse Schatz, located at 36 Warren Drive. They do have units available, 662-423-8598. Also, Man Oil Change, thanks to Daniel Man Oil Change in Golden for supporting the Belmont Cardinals from oil changes, tire rotations, fixing flats, and minor repairs. That's Man Oil Change in Golden at the railroad crossing. 
Also, Donna Ray Thomas, your South End Constable for Tishomingo County. Good luck to uh, the Cardinals. Got Michelle Smith out there said, let's go Belmont. Linda Perry says, let's go Big Red. Go Cardinals. Cornerstone Insurance, locally trusted choice for independent insurance agents with a line of commercial and personal injury products. Offices in Iuka, Boonville, and Baldwin. Beth and her staff have over 200 years' experience. Call them for your free estimate. And now at the plate is going to be Trey Miller, number nine for the Boonville Blue Devils. He's playing shortstop this afternoon. And the first pitch is a strike from Hodum. And that ball just misses or that pitch, so that's going to be a one and one count now. One ball, one strike to the leadoff hitter for the Blue Devils. Now that pitch misses outside. Now the count's going to run two balls and one strike here. And we appreciate you watching. If you hadn't shared our broadcast yet, we ask that you do so. Find somebody that couldn't make it to the game tonight here that would like to watch. And it's a beautiful afternoon for baseball here in Boonville. That ball is going to be fouled off over the third base side out of play. So now the count's going to be even. Two balls and two strikes here to the number leadoff hitter for the, the Blue Devils. That pitch misses high. That's going to be a full count now to the batter. Three balls, two strikes with no outs to the leadoff hitter. Four Boonville. That ball's going to be hit. It's going to be in the air going out towards left field. Left fielder's going to get in and under it. He's going to miss it off his glove. So the runner's going to be in at second. So the leadoff hitter is on with an error. And coming to the plate is going to be number seven, Colin Fleury. He's playing down at third this afternoon. Holton pitch catches the inside for strike number one. Holton wants to back off the mound for just a second. He wants to talk to the catcher to make sure they got the signals right and make sure that the runner on second is not stealing the signs. Pitch misses high and behind the batter. So now the count's going to be one and one. One ball, one strike here. That's a big cut by Colin Fleury for strike number two. So now the count's one ball, two strikes here, no outs, and a runner down at second. For the Boonville Blue Devil. He's going to foul that one off back here to the fence. So the count's going to be one ball, two strikes. Got Mr. Scott Webster out there. So if I mess up, y'all call Scott. He's the one who kind of trained me at this. That ball's hit in the air. Uh, right fielder's going to come up. He's going to get onto the ball, makes the play, and throws down the, the cutoff man for out number one. So now batting for the Bloomville Blue Devils is going to be Jack Sandlin, number two. And he is the designated hitter this afternoon for the Blue Devils in a... 
zero to zero ball game here. We're now in the bottom of the first inning with one out and a runner at second for Jack Sandlin. That'll be a strike call by the home plate umpire, so there's going to be no balls, one strike here. Holdem tries to get him to chase a high fastball outside, so now the count's one and one. Got Debbie Jenkins, that's my sister, Miss Deb. They're watching as well over in over in the Hernando Island Branch area. Good to have you on there, Deb. This is uh, the Region Three, Region One, Three A baseball action between Boonville and Belmont. And that'll be a 3-1 count now to the batter. Three balls, one strike here. He fouls that one off back here to the backstop. That's a lot of turf back here between the baselines and uh, the fence for the playing facility here at Northeast. Beautiful facility here. 320 down the lines. 365 in the alleys. And 390 dead center. And that pitch is going to get away. So that'll be ball four. And come to the plate is going to be number 16. That's going to be Sawyer Ritchie. He's playing out in left field for the Boonville Blue Devils here in Bosch of the Action. On WRMG Television 12 and TV 97, I'm David Leatherwood bringing you the play-by-play, -play, and I've got the world-famous David Leatherwood also on the camera tonight. That pitch from Holdem is a strike. So he gets ahead in the count now. No balls, one strike here. They got him in a rundown. They throw to the plate, and they're going to say he was in and under the tag here at the plate as that was a bang, bang play down here as the runner gets in the rundown to try to score the run from third. And Coach Hinman is not happy with that call. And that's one time I wish that we did have the Jack Ivey instant replay here. Because that was a bang, bang play down here. As the home plate umpire says that they tagged him high. So now it's going to be one to zero. Boonville Blue Devils. As Coach Hinman comes down and says, I'm not happy with that call. And I don't blame him. I rightfully so agree. So Sawyer Ritchie is at the plate now. No balls, one strike here with a runner at first and a one to nothing lead as he fouls that one off into the backstop here. So Hodum gets ahead in the count. No balls, two strikes here. Two, the number four hole hitter, Sawyer Ritchie, the left fielder for the Blue Devils. That ball gets inside. Good job by Braden Smith to block it up and keep it in front of him. Right, it's going to make you count now. One ball and two strikes here. As we're just in the bottom of the first in a one to nothing ball game. And this is Region 1 3A baseball action this afternoon. And he's going to check swing, foul that one to the third. Count remains one ball, two strikes here to the batter. If you hadn't shared or liked the broadcast, we ask that you do so. 
Well, if you've got some of you else you think might want to see it, share it with them. Let, them. let them know that we are here in Boonville on the beautiful campus of Northeast Mississippi Community College bringing you the action this afternoon. And that's going to be a strike. I'm sorry, he's going to call that a ball on the outside edge. That's going to even you count up now at two and two. Good pitch from Holdem. And that breaking ball misses wide outside from Holdem. And like I said, the ball got to the backstop. And I can guarantee you around here, if you don't get down to another base after the ball has been got, after it gets to the backstop, then you're not a very good runner, I would think. But your score is one to nothing now. There's a runner at second with a full count here to Sawyer Ritchie, the left fielder for the Boonville Blue Devils. Odom gets him to foul that one off down the third base side, and it'll be out of play. So the count still remains full. Three balls and two strikes here with one out. In a one to nothing ball game, as a battle between Belmont Cardinals and the Boonville Blue Devils. Region 1 3A division play. Odom gets him, he drives that ball up the middle. It's going to be fielded by the shortstop. Throw it at first, gets the out, so that's going to be out number two. So he gets the sacrifice, moving the runner around to third. So a good job there by Colin West to make the play. Throw to first, four out number two. And now coming to the plate is going to be the first baseman, Clark Jansen. He is a Northeast Mississippi Community College commit here. Graduating class of 2025. Holdem gets him to drill that ball. It's going to get in the gap down there at second. And it's going to score another run. So Jansen's on it first here with a single and makes the score 2-0. to zero. The Boonville Blue Devils here in Region 1-3A action. And now coming to the plate is going to be number 23, Jacob Matthews. He's catching this afternoon. And on deck is number 26, Bryson Sailors. Hold him, gets him swinging for strike number one. That pitch misses inside, so now the count's one and one. One ball, one strike here. To the number six hitter for the Blue Devils. That'll be a strike on the outside edge. So hold them ahead in the count now. No balls, two strikes here. To Jacob Matthews. Time call at the plate. Hold him gets him to chase the outside fastball. He fouls it off. Count still 0 and 2 here. That ball can be drilled down. Giles, Cody, Cody Giles going to get the ball. He's going to miss the throw. As the ball gets into the outfield. And now there's a runner at first and third for Boonville. First and third with two outs. As now coming to the plate is going to be number 26. That's Bryson Sailors. He's playing out in right field. And on deck is number 10, Corbin White. For the Boonville Blue Devils here in a 2 to nothing ball game, we're still in the bottom of the first inning with two outs.
here on WRMG Television 12 and TV 97. Jack Ivey broadcasting your hometown station, bringing you hometown events. And we'll have some more action this week, depending on the weather, and depending on where we're going to be next. Holden's pitch misses inside for ball number one. And that pitch is wide outside for ball two. 2-0 two -oh count here to the seven-hole hitter, Bryson Sailors, the right fielder for the Blue Devils. That ball's going to be dribbled down to first base. We feel it by the Cardinal first baseman. He steps on the bag. And that'll be out number three. So the Blue Devils leave two stranded here as we'll move into the top of the second inning here on the beautiful campus of Northeast Mississippi Community College where they're playing host today to the home team, the Boonville Blue Devils, versus the Belmont Cardinals here in Region 1, 3A action. Speaking of Northeast Mississippi Community College, they are sponsoring this afternoon's broadcast, moving forward with technology in the classroom with a health and fitness initiative with an honors college and a student success center with workforce training and a commitment to excellence in athletics. They also have a four-day instructional week featuring online and hybrid short-term classes all at affordable cost. Take your next step. With Northeast, you can visit them at www.nemcc.edu or call 1-800-555-2154. Also, Redmont Heating and Cooling, Mr. Patrick Brooks. He does residential, commercial, installation, service, and repair. He'll give you a free estimate on new installation. He's state certified, licensed, bonded, and insured. That's Mr. Patrick Brooks at Redmont Heating and Cooling, 662-279-65. 69 or 6570. Also, Daniel Sparks, proud to be your state senator representing District 5. Also, the Seegers Clinic, Dr. Scott Seegers, nurse practitioner Sarah Cooley, here to serve our hometown people. Call us at 662-423-1000. Also, sponsoring this afternoon's action is Tishomingo Electric Power Association. They'd like to remind you they are a member of the TVAE program where TVA will come in and do an energy audit of your home. Call for more information at 423-3646 during normal business hours. And now coming to the plate is number three, third baseman for the Cardinals, Brody Giles. Brody's a senior. He plays down at third. He hits that ball. It's going to be fouled off. Out of play. For strike number one. He's going to hit that ball. It's going to be in the air. Center fielder gets in and under. The right fielder comes over to back him up. That'll be out number one. So we got one out here now in the top of the second inning. And coming to the plate is going to be 21. That's going to be junior Collier Clark. He's playing down at first. He's going to foul that one off back here to the backstop. Yet, Lindsey Whitlock out there watching. He says, go Cardinals. Let's go Colin West. That pitch is going to be outside from Cade Lott. So now you count one and one. One ball, one strike here with one out. To 21, the junior, Collier Clark. Good eye by Clark to take that one for ball two on the outside. <coughs> He's going to hit that one. It's going to be foul off down the first base side, and it will be out of play.
That ball's hit. It's going to be in the air. It's going to get out in left field. So the Cardinals got a runner here. As Kyer Clark, the second hitter of the inning, gets on, goes down two first. And now coming to the plate is the senior, number 15, Drew Edmondson. Drew's playing in the designated hitter spot this afternoon for the Cardinals here with one out. Runner down at first in a 2-0 to zero ball game here in the top of the second in Boonville, Mississippi, here on the beautiful campus of Northeast Mississippi Community College. Light the lefty, delivers that pitch. It's going to be high and outside for ball number one. That's a big cut by Drew Edmondson. Four strike number one. The count's evened up now. One ball and one strike here. K lot breaking pitch is going to be a little wide on the outside for ball number two. Going to foul that one off. Out of play over the first base dugout. Makes you count now. Even two balls, two strikes here. And it's going to be a swing for strike three. And it'll be out number two as the catcher. Matthews throws down the first, but the runner is going to be back in time. And now coming to the plate is going to be number 18. That's Parker Stanley. Parker's playing out in right field this afternoon for the Cardinals here. He comes to the plate with a runner at first and two outs. And a 2-0 to zero deficit against the Blue Devils. He's going to hit that ball hard. It's going deep out into left field. And the left field is going to make the grab for out number three. So the Cardinals will leave one stranded after one and a half. Here is the score is two to zero for the Boonville Bull Devils here in Region 1 3A varsity action here on the beautiful campus of Northeast. And I cannot express how much I appreciate their support this afternoon helping me set up with Blake Long and his crew. Also, McRide Insurance at 9 Third Street in Belmont, payments office at 1407. Battleground Drive in Iuka under the leadership of Brandon and, Tam Brandon and Tamara Farr. We're an independent insurance agent serving northeast Mississippi, Middle Tennessee, and northwest Alabama. We are rooted in honesty, integrity, and Christian-based core values. Family-owned agency, our goal is to make you feel at home. That's Big Right Insurance, 662-454-7831. Also, Mark Chumbley and Scotty Payne. At Red Bud Supply, good luck to the Cardinals. Daniel's Garage. Jeff and his employees invite you to come see them for all your automotive repair needs. He's been serving the area and surroundings for 28 years, located just three miles down Highway 30 in Tishomingo. Nothing is too big or too small. That's Daniel Garage. You can look him up on Facebook or call him at 662-279-2622. Also, Deaton Funeral Home of Belmont Red Bay. Serving the area since 1945, and they're in their fourth generation of service. Also, Community Spirit Bank in Belmont. For all your banking needs, go by and see Mike Montgomery and staff, 662-454-0001. And Peyton Cummings, your Tishon Baker County Chancery Clerk, says good luck. And now coming to the plate is going to be number 10, the eight-hole hitter. That's Corbin White. Corbin playing at second base for the... Boonville Blue Devils. Big cut by White for strike number one. A 
gets him to foul that one off. Back here to the backstop. So, Braden Holdem's ahead in the count now. No balls, two strikes here. To the number eight hole hitter leading off the batting order here in the top bottom of the second. He gets him to file that one off as well. So the count's going to remain. No balls, two strikes here. Pitch is going to be high. Hold him, throws him a high fastball. He doesn't chase it. So that's going to make you count. Now one ball, two strikes here with no outs. We're in the bottom of the second. Good looking pitch by Hold him, but it's going to be called a ball. So that's going to even you count up now two and two. Missing that pitch outside, so it'll be a full count now. Three ball, two strikes here. Two, Corbin White for the Blue Devils. And holding the pitch is going to be missed inside. It's going to get away from the catcher here. Braden Smith, and the runner gets down to first, so the leadoff batter is on for the Blue Devils. It's now number six, batting in the number nine hole, and it's going to be Riley Barnes. He plays out in center field. Pamela Leatherwood, that Leatherwood guy is pretty good, kind of like you. I love you too, Miss Pam. That's my better half there. Pamela Ivy Leatherwood. We won't tell everybody, Pam, you're kin to Jack. <clears throat> that may not be a good thing for me to be carrying around being kin to the man, the, the world-famous Jack Ivey. Square at the bunt. Throw with the first bite, hold him, and the runner's going to be back. Square at the bunt again. He's going to pull it back back. And he'll get, take that pitch for ball number one. So it's going to be a 1-0 count. Don't y'all tell everybody, but I'm married to a pretty good woman. It lets me go and do these ball games here on weekdays and weekends here during the season. That makes a 2-0 count. Two balls, no strikes here with no outs and a runner at first for the nine-hole hitter. Where the bunt again, pulls that one back, and it will be strike number one from Hodum. So it's going to be a 2 1 count here. Hodum gets you to bunt that one foul, so that's going to even the count up now. Two balls and two strikes here. As your score is still 2-0, to zero, the Boonville Blue Devils over the Belmont Cardinals here in Region 1-3A baseball action. As we're getting that time of year where all these division teams, region teams, will play one another. That pitch is going to be missed high. It's going to be thrown down. And the throw is a little high, but the runner slides in and under it. So now the runner down at second with a full count here to Riley Barnes, the center fielder for the Boonville Blue Devils. He gets him to drive that ball. It's going to be he hit down to the shortstop. He's going to hit it, picks it up, makes the throw, gets the out at first. So that's going to be a sacrifice that'll move the runner around to third. So that's going to be one out now. And now we're back to the top of the lineup for the Boonville Blue Devers as the shortstop Trey Miller comes to the plate. Trey's got one out and a runner at third.
Strike down the pipe by Hodum. And that pitch will miss outside for a ball. And that pitch misses out there as well, so it's a 2-1 count now. Two balls, one strike here. He hits that one high in the air. Center fielder's going to come in. and know the shortstop's backing out. He's going to make the play, and that'll be out there as he throws to the plate, but the runner stays at third. So good job by Colin West to drop back from the shortstop position to make that play on the outfield grass for out number two. So we got two outs here. In a two to zero ball game, and now number seven, third baseman for the Boonville Blue Devils, Colin Fleury comes to the plate. He's got a runner at third here. And Holden gives him a hard fastball inside for ball number one. That's a big cut for strike one, so now the count's even at one and one. That pitch, he tries to get him to chase the high fastball. And Colin Fleury said, no, I won't. And that's going to make you count now. Two balls and one strike. That pitch from Odom, he's going to drive it down to shortstop. Colin West makes a diving play to save the ball from going in the outfield. But he can't get back to his feet here on the turf. And that'll be another run scored by the Boonville Blue Devils. And they're going to make that now. Three to zero. And the lefty, number two, Jack Sandlin, the designated hitter, comes to the plate for the Blue Devils here. Two outs, a runner at first. That ball hits going to be down to the second base. Dive in his plate and forward. Can't get to the ball. And they're going to throw down to third. He's going to be there, throw down to second, and he's there as well. So now they got runners at second and third here as a well-hit ball just off of the diving glove of Peyton Farr down at second base. And now coming to the plate is going to be 16, Sawyer Ritchie. He's playing out in left field. He's got two outs and a runner at second and third here. And they got the world-famous Randall Lindsay out there watching this afternoon as well. And that pitch from Hodum is going to be high and outside for ball number one. If you would like to share in a broadcast, we actually do that. He's going to hit that ball. It's going to be fielded by the first baseman. He's going to flip over and make the flow there to Hodum covering the bag. So the Boonville Blue Devils will leave two stranded here, but they score one as the score now is three to zero as we'll move into the top of the third inning here in Region 1, 3A Baseball in Boonville, Mississippi on the beautiful campus of Northeast Mississippi Community College who's allowing the Boonville Blue Devils to host the Belmont Cardinals here in Region 1, 3A play on WRMG Television 12 and 97. Jack Ivey Broadcasting, your hometown station, bringing you hometown events. I'm David Leatherwood bringing you the action this afternoon. And it's my pleasure to be here and to also recognize the Belmont Pharmacy, Bill and Donna Weatherford, Pam Moore, Kathy Kellum. We are a Tiffin Preferred provider for all you weightlifting, powerlifting, cross training, serious exercising friends. You can now get your favorite workout supplements locally from Belmont Pharmacy. And don't forget, they also have a digital kiosk photo maker where your family is in health care. Helping families who need health care. We are Belmont Pharmacy, 504-9902. Also, Tiffin Motorhome, featuring the Allegro, 356-8661. Also, Mark Montgomery, your Allstate agent, 
with an office here at 503 State Street in Muscle Shoals. Are you in good hands? Give Mark a call today at 256-386-7900. By the way, Mark is a 99 alumni, and he'd like to say good luck to the Cardinal from Montgomery Good Hands Agency. Also, Triple D Bunker Service, Barney, Brandon, and Dustin. They'll do their best to meet all your high reach needs, whether it's cleaning, trimming a tree, removing a tree, debris removal, stump grinding, or cleaning a steeple. All will be done in a professional manner. They're licensed, bonded, and insured. Call 662-279-7500. And now batting is number 15, Drew Edmondson. Drew is the designated hitter this afternoon for the Cardinals. He squares the bunt, and that ball's going to be fouled off for strike number one. He's going to slash that one down to third, but it's going to be foul. And the third baseman comes in and makes the play, but it's in foul territory. <coughs> it's Cade Lott, uh, number 15, is on the hill this afternoon for the Boonville Bull Devil. And he's pitching a one-hit shutout so far today. And that ball's hit foul. And you're right, that's not Drew. That is Chris Reagan. Number 14 at the plate. He's playing out in center field for the Belmont Cardinals. He misses that pitch outside. It's going to be a one ball, two strike count here. Thank you, Miss Melissa, for helping me see that again. Sometimes you get, when you're up here by yourself, you get sidetracked. And sometimes you lose the images and numbers, especially when you're old as I am and you can't see out on your eyes sometimes. <laughs> now it's going to be a 2-2 count now to the leadoff hitter who's batting in the number nine spot, playing center field. And it's a big cut for strike number three, out number one. And now coming to play, there's going to be the top of the order for the... Belmont Cardinals, and that's uh, the South Bowl, Peyton Farr. He plays down at second base. Last time up, he hit down to the center fielder. He hits that ball right back up the middle, and it's going to be fielded by the shortstop in the hole, but he can't get it there, so that's going to be a base hit for... Peyton Farr, that's a community spirit base hit where contactless payments are available through Apple and Android Pay. Also, send cash fast with Spirit Pay person to patient payments with Community Spirit Bank. And now at the plate is the shortstop Colin West, who's made some really good plays this afternoon. One out runner at first for the shortstop, Colin West. He's a senior. And on deck is number seven, the man who's on the mound today, and that's Brayden Hodum. Big cut by West for strike number one. Lott gets him to foul that one off. The first base side out of play. Tries to get him to chase that high fastball, and Colin West lays off of it. So that's going to make you count now. One ball, two strikes here. 
And again, if you hadn't seen our broadcast, like us or give us a comment, go Cardinals or go Blue Devils. We well, ask that you do so. We might have somebody that couldn't make the game tonight here on a beautiful Tuesday night in Boonville, Mississippi on the campus of Northeast. That ball is going to be hit right off the edge of the bat. Second baseman is going to make the play. Missing the throw at second, trying to get the double play. The ball goes into the outfield, and that's going to be a runner now down at third. So that's going to be a error charge to the shortstop for Boonville. And that's going to make you runners now at first and third here with one out. As number seven, the senior Braden Hodum comes to the plate. You got the junior Braden Smith on deck. And it's first and third here. Runners at the corners for the Cardinals in a three to zero ball game in region one 3A play between Boonville and Belmont. That ball's going to be dribbled down to first. First baseman's going to make the play. Step on the bag, so Holden will move the runner around to second. So now the Cardinals have runners at second and third with two outs here. And coming to the plate is going to be number 10, the junior, and that's going to be Braden Smith. And on deck is the senior, number three, Brody Giles. He's not just a good baseball player. He's a head hunter on that football team for Coach Jackson and his crew this year. And the first pitch will be a ball, so it's going to be a 1-0 count here, two outs. Runners are in scoring position. Smith represents the tie and run here at the plate. He's going to hit that ball. It's going to be a chopper. Pitcher's going to get the ball, make the throw to first. It's going to be the out. So the Cardinals will leave two stranded here. As we'll now move into the bottom of the third here in Region 1, 3A play. Mark Montgomery, your all-state agent with an office there at 503 State Street. Suite A1 in Muscle Shoals. Silver Dollar Bargains located at 75 Red Bay Road in Golden with a location also at 5548 Cliff Gookin in Tupelo. Ruby Mays Boutique, there at 377 2nd Street in Belmont. You can browse their inventory on Facebook, Instagram, or the website, rubymays.com. Brittany Burton has been in business there for seven years and would like to thank everyone who has supported me over the past seven years, 662-279-2015. Also, Square Pharmacy and Guest, A.C. Criddle and Darlene Byram, pharmacist at 85 Main Street in Belmont. We have a baby, bridal, baby and bridal shower registry. We deliver free gift wrapping. We have my brother cup gourmet coffee, cakes by Sugary Bakery. If you hadn't had one of those, you need to try them. That's 662-454-9893. Also, Sunshine Mills, maker of great cat and dog food, as well as treats. You need a winning financial strategy? Or well, you're looking for a bank that's on your team? Guaranteed Bank is ready to help you reach your financial goals, whether you're saving for a rainy day or planning for the future. Good luck from your circuit court clerk, Rebecca Oaks. Also, Piggly Wiggly, Belmont, Iuka, and Red Bay, down home, down the street, with a Ace Hardware inside. Also, Pro Concert, Terry Hayes, Church Sound Systems, Media Systems, guitars, amps, ukuleles, keyboards, and he services almost everything in-house. Thunderflow, commercial residential pressure washing. Michael Funderburg will give you a free estimate. You can like him on Facebook or TikTok, 662-262-3569, as well as Sunshine Homes. Good luck to the Colonel's Builder Quality Homes since 1971. And now Clark Jansen is at the plate for the Boonville Blue Devils. He is a Northeast Community College commit. 
Gary, the first game was won by uh, Boneville six to zero, and that was the junior varsity game. He should go Belmont. Gary must have finished his beating over in West Blockton, Alabama. He tries to watch us here on Jack Ivy Broadcasting. And I hope was going to hit Jensen in the back that time, so it'll be a hit by pitch. So the leadoff hitter is going to be on at first. For the Blue Devils, as we're in the bottom of the third inning. And now, 23, Jacob Matthews, the catcher, comes to the plate. He's in the number six spot for the Blue Devils. That pitch from Holden is going to be outside for ball one. And balls hit foul over the first base side, out of play. Artificial turf here in Boonville at Northeast Mississippi Community College. 320 down the lines. 390 dead center. Going to be throw down to seconds. Not going to be a time as the runner's in and under the tag. So that'll be a stolen base by the Blue Devils here. And the count is one by one strike. Here to number 23, Jacob Matthews. He's catching for Boonville this afternoon. 2-1 count. That pit catches the outside edge from Holdem. That's going to leave you to count up now at two and two. Come on, Big Red, you can do this. I agree, Miss Linda. That's going to be a dead ball hit by pitch. So number 23 is going to be on at first here. That's going to be two batters hit by pitch from Holdem here. And we're going to have runners at first and second. With no outs. And Coach Hinman wants to go out and talk to his man on the hill. And while he does that, we also want to recognize Tiffin Supply and Tiffin Appliance, David, Tony, Eli, and Richard and your staff, 356 4946. You can't beat Tiffins. Also, the Medical Associates, Associates Urgent Care Clinic at 8 Front Street in Belmont. Founder is Edric Parrish, nurse practitioner Tanya Armstrong, Caitlin Whitehead. Their hours are Monday through Saturday, 8 to 6, and on Sunday, 1 to 4. Let us help you with your medical needs. No appointment needed. Open seven days a week. We have x-rays, MDOT physicals, flu testing, strip testing, and other services. Our family caring for yours, 662-454-1170. Also, the staff sponsor of the staff news action is Dollar Wide Discount Grocery in Burnsville. Owner Ted and Wendy Sparks. We also offer name brand appliances and mattresses. That's Dollar Wise in the shopping center in Burnsville. And we're reset here. And Bryson Sailors is at the plate. He's going to have runners at first and second here with no outs. He's going to punt that ball down to third. It's going to be fielded by Holdem. He's going to throw down. And the runner's going to be in safe as the home, as the base umpire said he didn't get him and he didn't need to tag him. All he had to do was have his foot on the bag and catch the ball. So now we're going to have bases loaded here. And number 10, Corbin White, who's played second baseman for the Blue Devils, is coming to the plate. You got bases loaded, no outs here. And that pitch will be a ball.
If you'd like to share the broadcast, we ask you to do so. Give us a go Cardinals or go uh, Trojans, whoever you're out there, or not Trojans, but Blue Devils, whoever you're out there supporting. That pitch misses outside. That's going to be move your count now to 3-0. and Here to the eight-hole hitter. And that'll be ball four. That'll walk a run in. So now the score is going to be four to zero here. As Coach Hitman's going to go out and may probably going to make a pitching change this time out to the mound. And while we wait to see what they're going to do, we want to also recognize Thompson Gas, the most trusted name in propane, locally operated by Dustin Chase Oliver. Call and ask about the real high propane meter. No more tank rent, no more fees, no more large propane bills, no calling to fill your tank. Just pay only for what you use. It's budget friendly while keeping your tank full. That's Thompson Gas, the most trusted name in propane, 256-356-9194. Also, Dossett Big Forward, 628 South Gloucester Street, just one block north of the hospital. They've been there in that same location for 44 years. They specialize in customer satisfaction where they have won national awards in sales, service, and body shop as well as the parts department. They have a complete inventory of trucks, SUVs, sedans, even vehicles that get 35 miles a gallon. And remember, they're right now in the middle of their 44th annual blue and maroon sale where the loser eats beans and the winner eats steaks. And remember, the Dossett Big Four, we always get more. You can call them at 662-892-4162 or And we are going to have a pitching change is now coming to the plate or coming to the mound is going to be number 21. And it is Kyer Clark. He's going to move to the pitching spot on the mound. He's been playing down at first, but he'll move here to pitch. And it looks like we're going to have Coley Estes, number 35, is going to come down, and he's going to be at first so Coley Estes is at first now and he's coming in for Braden Hodum and Kyer Clark's going to go from first down to or over to the pitching mound also the EMI wholesale fireworks never pay retail by wholesale at EMI Fireworks and visit them there at their seasonal locations at the Big Star parking lot in Belmont. Or you can buy from them anytime at EMIWholesaleFireworks.com. And it's Eric McDowell, the owner there. And now at the plate with bases loaded is going to be Riley Barnes. Center fielder, ball's going to get away. Runner's going to come here to the plate. And that will be another run for the Blue Devils here in varsity action. As now your score is going to be five to zero. And that's going to be a dead ball hit by pitch. So that's going to move the runner down to first. So Riley Barnes is on at first. You got bases loaded again here for the Boonville Blue Devils. And coming to the plate is going to be the top of the order, 
Number nine, Trey Miller, the shortstop for the Blue Devils here in a five to zero ball game. That pitch is going to miss outside, so it's going to be a 1-0 count here. One ball, no strikes here from Collier Clark. Clark misses high and outside, so it's going to be a 2-0 count here with bases loaded for the Blue Devils. Clark got the count at 3-0 now here to Trey Miller, the shortstop for the Blue Devils. That pitch catches outside for strike number one. So that's going to make you count now three and one. I got Debbie Hastings out there watching also. If you hadn't shared our broadcast, we ask that you do so. That ball's going to be hit high in the air. It's going to be over on the third base side out of play. So now your count is... Full, three balls, two strikes with no outs. And a big cut that time. Four, strike number three, out number one. So Kyer Cart comes in and delivers. And coming to the plate is going to be number seven, Colin Fleury. He's been playing down at third for the Blue Devils this afternoon. He's got bases loaded with one out. There's the pitch. It's going to be hit hard out into the left field. Left fielder for the Cardinals goes back. He's going to make the catch at the fence, and he's going to throw it in to the cutoff man. But a runner from second will score as he tried to flip the ball. And as soon as he tried to get the ball out of his glove, he dropped it. So we're going to look and see. I'm trying to look and see now if they're going to give them the out or not. And it looked like to me he caught the ball and when he was trying to release it from his glove. But Coach him and them are appealing the runner not touching the base as he rounded. So I guess that was a error charge to the outfielder there. And the Blue Devils will score too. And now we got runner at first here with one out. And number two, Jack Sandlin, the DH, is at the plate. Clark gets him to take a big cut for strike number one. That ball was well hit out there to the left field. But it appeared to me he made the catch and then was missed the ball handling it, trying to get it from his glove. But they're a lot closer to it than I am up here in the press box. And I do have rose-colored glasses on. The runner goes. Pitch is going to be high and inside, so now the count's going to be two balls and one strike here. With a runner at second for the Blue Devils. And one out. Two balls, one strike here to Jack Sandlin. As Kyer Clark's on the mound for the Cardinals. He's going to hit that ball foul on the third base side. Out of play. Two and two now. Two balls, two strikes with one out. And we're in the bottom of the third. That's going to be a strike three call by the home plate umpire. And that will be out number three. So they did give the out to 
the outfielder, and when he dropped it, both of those runners tagged. The runner at second and third tagged, and those two runs scored. So that is three outs. And we'll move now to the top of the fourth inning here in Region 1, 3A Baseball. In Boonville on the beautiful campus of Northeast Mississippi Community College who are hosting the ball game this afternoon between the home team, the Boonville Blue Devils, and the Belmont Cardinals. And this is Region 1, 3A Baseball. Your score is 7-0. to zero. Also, the Old Country Store. Their hours are Monday through Friday, 3 to 8, 3.30 to 8, Saturday, 4.30 to 8, Sunday, 6.30 to 7. They got a 24-hour gas pump, and they have great food for breakfast, lunch, indoor dining, outdoor seating. Call in orders at 662-454-7920. Also, Sparks Drive-In, best food around. Dine in or carry out. Check out their Facebook page for daily menus. Hours are Monday through Friday, 5.30 to 8. Close on Saturday and Sunday. I'm a close on Saturday, I'm sorry, and on Sunday, 10 to 1.30. Been in business for 46 years. Great breakfast each morning. Lunch buffet daily on Monday, Friday, and on Sundays, 662-454-7816. Also, Deals Construction, LLC. No job is too big or too small. You dream it, we build it. That's Deals Construction. Call them for a free estimate. Call Bobby at 662-279-3482 or Haley at 662-424-2417. Also, Willow Lane Record Service and Tire Store oil changes. Store hours are Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. They're located next to the Belmont Fire Department. Don't forget they have a 24-hour record service. You can call them at 8, 4, uh, 4, 5, 4, 3, 0, 0, 2. And that pitch is a ball. That's a 2-0 count now here to Brody Isles. He's got a count of 3-0 now. Three balls, no strikes here. So the Cardinals are trying to get the leadoff hitter on at first here in the top of the fourth inning as we're down by seven in a seven to zero ball game. And that'll be a strike from Lot to make the count three and one. That ball's gonna be hit down to the third baseman. He's gonna make the play, makes a long throw to first. And it's going to be out number one. And now coming to the plate is going to be number 21, Kyer Clark, the junior, who's on the mound now. One out, nobody on here in the top of the fourth. As he's going to hit that ball. It's going to be a line drive caught by a leaping third baseman to rob Kyer Clark of the base hit. And that one got over his head. Kyer probably would have been down at second. So that's going to be two outs. And now coming to the plate is going to be number 15, Drew Edmondson. Drew is the designated hitter this afternoon for the Cardinals. He's going to hit that ball in the air. Going out to right field. Right field is going to come in, make the play short. There's going to be three up, three down here in the top of the fourth for the Cardinals as we'll move into the bottom of the fourth in a 7-0 to zero ball game here in Boonville on the beautiful campus of Northeast Mississippi Community College. Deals Construction, LLC, no job too big or too small. We build it, you dream it, we build it. Also, Community Spirit Bank, they're sponsoring a base hit this afternoon. Sid's Trading Post has got a second location on 617 Highway 72, just past the Tishomingo County High School. 
Seeds is now the authorized dealer for the Landmaster Utility Vehicle. The Landmaster was designed with your every need in mind. If you got to cut more dig, remember, get it in at Seeds. Also, the generations of Red Bay also provides a caring place for those who need a home away from home when long-term care is necessary. We are also a fine facility that has been serving the folks and their families for 40 years. And it isn't just a long-term care facility. It's also a place where you can go, get well, and go home. Johnny's four-wheelers and mowers, military family-owned business. He's there in Red Bay on Highway 19, 256-919-1804 or 256-810-0795. Sonic at Belmont and Iuka, they have happy hour two to four daily. You can get half price soft drinks, slushes, and teas. You can call them in Iuka at 423-9100 or in Belmont at 454-3070. Also, Econo Storage, the only climate control storage in the area, owner Haskell Sparks. He's in Belmont and Tishomingo, 662-423-8767. Also, this afternoon's game is brought to you by Best Way Incorporated in Golden. You need a sign or banner for your business or athlete. They're manufacturing them right there in-house. They've been doing it for over 40 years, and they have a friendly, experienced staff to help you, and that is Best Way Incorporated in Golden. It's going to be a bunt down the first baseline. It's going to be picked up by the pitcher. He's going to throw it down, but it's not going to be in time as the runner's going to be safe at first. And that was Riley Barnes at the plate. And now, I'm sorry, that was Sawyer uh, Ritchie. And now batting number one, Clark Jansen. He's played down at first. <coughs> He's going to bunt that one now. Back to the pitcher. Pitcher's going to get the ball. Steps, throws. That's going to be out number one. So, guy, your clock comes off the mound, gets the ball as it moves the runner to second. And Cody Estes makes the catch at first for out number one. And now coming to plate will be number 23, Jacob Matthews. He's catching this afternoon. Or I should say by now the evening here. Clark catches the outside corner for strike number one. So it's an 0-1 count here with one out and runner at second for Boonville. Pitch misses outside. Good job by the catcher. Slide over and get in front of that ball. Number 10, that's number Braden Smith, the junior. One more is the count. He's going to hit that ball down the first third base side. It's going to be fair, and it's going to score the runner from second. He's trugging into second. He's going to be in safe with a stand-up double and an RBI. And now that's going to make you score now. It's going to be eight to zero. And coming to the plate is going to be number 26. That's Bryson Sailors. He's been playing out in the outfield. He's going to have a runner at second here with one out. You know, but that ball is going to be in the air. And the man behind the play is going to make the play. So now coming to the plate for Moonville is going to be number 10, 
Colvin White, he plays down at second. He's faced with two outs and a runner at second. As we're in the bottom of the fifth, fourth inning. That pitch is going to miss high and inside for ball number one. That pitch is going to be hit in the air. It's going out to center field. It's going to be short, and it's going to drop in, and that will score a run as he'll be on it first. And the Cardinals was in no man's land there as he tried to get to that ball. Neither one of them could get there. And it's going to be 9-0 to zero now as number six. Riley Barnes, the center fielder who's batting in the number nine spot, comes here to the plate. Two outs and a runner down at first. Guy Clark's first pitch to him is a strike. That pitch misses wide and outside, so it's going to be one and one now. Throw it to first, and the runner's back as the ball gets away from Estes. Clark gets strike number two, so it's going to be one in ball and two strikes now. Here with two outs and a runner at first for the Blue Devils. That pitch misses outside, going to be a throw down to second. It's going to be too far to the right side of the bag. So the runner will be in at second safe for the Boonville Blue Devils. And a nine to nothing ball game here so far. And we're in the bottom of the fourth here on WRMG, Television 12 and 97, Jack Ivy Broadcasting, your hometown station bringing you hometown events. And that was a good-looking pitch there from Kyer Clark on the mound. And that's going to make your count now full, three balls and two strikes. And that pitch is going to be high, so he's going to draw the walk. And now the top of the order, number nine, Trey Miller, the shortstop, is coming to the plate for the Boonville Blue Devils. He's got two outs and runners at first and second here as they're up nine to zero in the bottom of the fourth here in Region 1 3A baseball action. Hosted graciously this afternoon by the Northeast baseball team. That pitch is wide. Wrong cut your Clark to make the count now. One ball, no strikes. Pitch is going to be high for ball number two. If you'd like to share the broadcast, we ask you to do it. Give us a go Cardinals or go Blue Devils, whoever you're out there supporting. We don't mind you watching, but we do ask that you do share our broadcast as that pitch is going to be outside for ball number three. That pitch catches the inside for a 3 1 count now. Number 
That ball's going to be hit, but it's going to be foul out of play over here on the third base side. So you can't still going to remain three balls, two strikes now instead of three and one. So it's a full count. And here's the pitch from Clark. He's going to get him on the outside corner for strike number three, and that'll be out number three. So the Blue Devils will leave two stranded here as they do score two more runs. And your score is 9-0 to zero here in Region 3 1A action between the Boonville Blue Devils and the Belmont Cardinals. The Tishomingo County School Board and Superintendent Christy Holly would like to wish the Tishomingo County and Belmont a great school year. Go Cardinals. Tri-State Insurance Agents Kim Wells, Callum Wells, Mike Moore, Christy Mayo, Brenda Purser, location to Belmont Red Bay. You can call the Belmont office at 662-454-3304 or in Red Bay at 256-356-4804. They are licensed in Mississippi, Tennessee, and Alabama. Also, Happy Hollow Outdoors. Uh, they've got a ton of stuff at Happy Hollow Outdoors. They got two golf simulators. They got disc golf. They got regular golf. They got softball, baseball, football. Ammo and guns, that's Happy Hollow Outdoors in Red Bay. Tracy Arnold, your District 3 House of Representatives, says good luck to the Belmont Cardinals. You want top notch, no matter internet, no matter where you live in Tishomingo County, Tishomingo Connect is here for you, 662-423-3646. Also, Pro Fitness is Highway 25 South in Belmont. Ricky McGee, he'll give you a free estimate. He specializes in RV repair and detail. We do collision repair, paint repair, scratch repair, and true toppers. That's Pro Finishes, Mr. Ricky McGee, 256-224-8447. Also, this afternoon's broadcast is brought to you by Casey Lott, owner of the largest personal injury firm in northeast Mississippi with attorneys licensed in Mississippi, Tennessee, and Alabama. Give Casey and his team a call. And now, coming to the plate is going to be the sophomore, number 18, Parker Stanley. That'll be strike number one from Cade Lott on the mound for the Blue Devils. That'll be a swing and a miss by Stanley. For strike number two. That pitch just misses outside for ball number one. And big cut by Stanley for another strikeout. And number 15, Cade Lotz, pitching a two-hit shutout here to the Cardinals. And number 14 comes to the plate now. That's going to be Chris Reagan. He's out in center field for the Cardinals. And the first pitch to Reagan will be a ball. A 1-0 count. That'll be ball number two. He showed bump, but he's going to foul that one off. So that's going to make you count now. Two balls in one strike here with one out. And he shows bunt again. And he pulls it back this time. And that pitch is going to miss high and outside. So that'll be a 3-1 count here. To the nine-hole hitter, Chris Reagan. He's going to foul that one off. That's going to bring your count full now. Three balls, two strikes with one out. And nobody on here. And he's going to draw the walk. So now coming to the plate is going to be the top of the order for the Cardinals. With one out, it's going to be number 24, the southpaw, Peyton Farr. 
he plays down at second for the Cardinals here. One out with a runner at first. As we're in the top of the fifth. That breaking pitch from Lott is called a strike. Throws over to first, and it's not in time. That ball's going to be driven down to second. He's going to make the play. Picks it up, throws to first to get out number two. So Peyton Farr does his job, moves the runner around to second. That's going to be two outs, and coming to the plate is going to be number one, the shortstop, the senior, Colin West. He's got two outs with a runner at second here as we're in the top of the fifth inning in a 9-0 to zero ball game. That ball's going to be driven down to second base. He's going to make the play. Those to first, gets out number three. So the Cardinals leave one stranded here. We're moving to the bottom of the fifth now. In a 9-0 to zero ball game. And we'd also like to recognize Southeast Surplus, Edwin Bowling. He's located there at 25 South in Belmont. Has been your steel power headquarters for 18 years. That's Sur Southeast Surplus, Edwin Bowling, 662-454-7484. Also, Napa, Phil Byron and his staff said good luck to the Cardinals. They're located at 97 Main Street in Belmont, 662-454-9754. Also, good luck to the Cardinals from Stacy Stepp, your District 5 Tishomingo County School Board member. Also, J.C. Weeks and his friendly staff at Redmont Pharmacy, 356-9000. Unique flowers and gifts in Belmont, Missy and Dusty Brandon, 106 Main Street in Belmont. We have new wind chimes that are not only beautiful, but sound beautiful. We have one-of-a-kind jewelry, silk, and live flowers, and unique gifts for all occasions. Check us out on Facebook or call us at 662-454-1033. Inspirations for women, your hometown one-stop shop where fashion and comfort come together. Go by and see Tammy and her girls for all your personalization needs. They're located in Golden on the Red Bud Road, 662-454-1061. Like them on Facebook or Instagram as well. Also, the Red Bay Hospital, Miss Sherry Jolly. they taking care of their neighbors close to home, 256-356-9532. And they have a well care center there, Chris Austin, 256-356-1160 or 1162. And now, coming to the plate for the Boonville Blue Devils is number seven. He's batting in the number two hole. That's Colin Fleury. He plays down at third base. Geiger Clark pitch is a ball. And the second pitch from Clark will be ball number two. So it's a 2-0 count here. And that pitch will be low, so it's going to be a 3-0 count. That'll be a strike, so now it counts three and one. Good crowd here supporting both of these high school teams this evening in Region 1 3A action. That ball's going to be hit, but it's going to be foul out of play over to the third base side. Count remains full, three balls and two strikes here. To the number two hole hitter. Colin Flurry for the Blue Devils. That pitch misses outside. He's going to draw the walk. 
So the leadoff hitters on here in the bottom of the fifth. And now coming to the plate is going to be the designated hitter, number two, Jack Sandlin. He's got no outs. Runner at first here. Big cut for strike number one. That ball's going to be driven down to second base. It's going to be fielded by Farr. Going to throw the first, get the first out, but that's going to move the runner around to second. And now coming to the plate is going to be number 16, Sawyer Ritchie. He's been playing out in the left field today for the Boonville Blue Devils. And he's got one out and a runner at second. That ball's going to be driven hard down foul down the first base side out of play. No balls, one strike here to the three-hole hitter for the Boonville Blue Devils. That ball's hit high in the air. Catcher comes back. He's going to try to make the play at the backstop, but it's going to be over the wire here. So Kyer Clark's hitting the count. No balls, two strikes here with one out. And a runner at second for Jack Sandlin, the designated hitter for the Blue Devils. A runner goes. That ball's going to be hit, but it's going to be fouled down the first base side again. Oh, two count here. That ball's going to be driven into outfield. It's going to be caught out there by the center fielder. Out there in left center, right center, I mean, and they throw the second to get the double play. So, after five, your score remains 9-0. to zero. And we'll move into the top of, top of the sixth here on Northeast Mississippi Community College as the Boonville Blue Devils are hosting the Belmont Cardinals in a game that was supposed to be played yesterday, but they moved it because of the weather, and they're playing here on the altar field here at Northeast. Beautiful facility here, well designed. And also the lawn tech, Mr. Adam Pruitt, and like him on Facebook, he's got over 10 years' experience in landscaping, 662-312. 9948. Also, Dr. Cameron Bond at the North Mississippi Medical Center in Iuka, 662-423-6014. Also, Alan Harden Heating and Cooling is Alan and Ash Harden. Been in business for 47 years. They are the York Factory Authorized Heating and Cooling Dealer, and they have been for three generations. 356-8913. Ronald Thorne, your good neighbor insurance. Riding up insurance now in Mississippi from his Red Bay office. For auto, home, personal, whatever your need may be, go by and see Ronald Thorne, the State Farm agent, 256-356-4459. JR's Wholesale and Boutique is your bargain headquarters located at Highway 25 North, 
662-424-1242. Also, Mac Wildman, your Tishomingo County corner. Good luck to the Tishomingo County teams. And Big Star Belmont from Sammy Hale and staff. Appreciate your business. They're open seven days a week. And now coming to the plate is going to be number seven. That's going to be a ball number one as Holdem comes back into the game to bat for himself here. As a starter, he can re-enter the game once. That's going to be hit down to the third baseman by Holdem. Third baseman is going to make the play, throws the first. That'll be out number one. So it's one out here in the top of the sixth. And now coming to the plate is going to be the band that's been behind the mound, the plate this evening. The number 10, the junior, Braden Smith. He comes to the plate with one out and nobody on here in the top of the sixth inning. And that pitch just misses outside from Lott. That breaking ball catch at the outside, and now you count it's going to be one and one. As Lott has basically fed the diet of fastballs today to the Cardinals. That ball's going to be fouled off back here to the backstop. One ball, two strikes here to Braden Smith. And that pitch outside wide, that's going to make it two and two here. That ball's going to be hit down to the third baseman, a little chopper. He's going to scoop it, throws the first, and he's going to get the out at first for out number two of the inning. And Smith tries to dive in and beat the throw. Good hustle by Braden Smith for the Cardinals here. As he's trying to make something happen. As we're in the top of the sixth inning. And now coming to the plate is going to be number three. Brody Giles. Brody's been playing down at third base today. That first pitch is going to be outside. Strike one. That pitch just misses by a lot. Four ball number one, so now the count's one and one. Here to Brody Giles, third baseman for the Cardinals. That ball's going to be hit down to the shortstop. He's going to make the play, makes the long throw to first, and that'll be out number three. So the Blue Devils retire the side. Three up, three down here. And we'll move down to the bottom of the sixth in a nine to zero ball game. Here is Caden Lott on the mound, has pitched a pretty good afternoon, only giving up two hits. Stone's Family Owned Jewelry, operated for 43 years with locations at Ripley and Tupelo. If you think it's jewelry, think of Stone's. Joanne and Teresa wish the Cardinals the best of luck. Also, for the best medical care for you and your family, Remember, Heather Edmondson and the staff at Belmont Medical Clinic, 662-454-3401. Also, the Tishomingo County Republican Party asks you to help us in protecting our conservative values. Good luck to the Cardinals. Belmont Mayor Buddy Wilshire and Alderman Steve Smith, Mike Harris, Sonia Harris, Brandon Farr, Ken Delaney wish the Cardinals the best of luck. Jazz Mini Stories, Amy and Jesse Schatz, located at 36 Warren Drive in Belmont, they do have units available, 662-423-8598. Man, oil change, 
at the gold at in Golden at the railroad crossing. We appreciate your business. 662-454-1032. Donald Ray Thomas, your South End Constable. Good luck to the Cardinals. Cornerstone Insurance, a locally trusted choice for independent insurance agents. With offices now, you can move to a Baldwin. Beth and her staff have over 200 years combined experience. They're on hand and ready to help you. 107 South Fulton Street, downtown Ayuko. Northeast Mississippi Community College. They have a four-day instructional week featuring online and hybrid short-term classes. All at affordable costs. Take your next step with Northeast. 1-800-555-2154 or visit them at nemcc.edu. Redmont Heating and Cooling, Mr. Patrick Brooks. Residential Commercial Installation Service and Repair. 662-279-6569 or 6570. Also, Daniel Sparks is proud to be your state senator representing District 6. Five, I mean. Good luck to the Cardinals. And now at the plate, there's going to be number one, Clark Jansen, the first baseman. Northeast Mississippi Community College commitment here. He's going to hit that ball out of the outfield, and it's going to be a diving catch. Four out, number one. And number seven, Braden Holdham gets under that ball, makes a great catch. Out in the outfield, four out, number one. And now, coming to play, there's going to be number 23. That's Jacob Matthews. He's been catching this afternoon for the Blue Devils. That pitch catches the outside edge for strike number one. Clark just misses the inside for ball one. Big cut by Jacob Matthews. That means the count now is one ball, two strikes here. That ball's going to be hit down to third. It's going to be filling by Giles. He's going to throw the first in time for out number two. We're two up, two down so far here in the top of the bottom of the sixth. I'm sorry. And now coming to the plate is going to be number 26, Bryson Sailors, the outfielder for the Blue Devils. That's a big cut for strike number one. That pitch gets at the outside edge by Clark, so he's heading the count now. No balls, two strikes here. To the seven-hole hitter for the Blue Devils. That pitch is going to be high. Tries to get him chase a high fastball. And Sailor lays off of it. He gets him swinging. That's going to be strike three, drop ball. Throw down to first, and they're going to get the out number three. So, three up, three down here for the Blue Devils as we'll move into the top of the seventh inning here in Region 3, 1A baseball action between the Boonville Blue Devils and the Belmont Cardinals. The Seegers Clinic, Dr. Scott Seegers, nurse practitioner Sarah Cluley, here to serve our hometown people, 662-423. 1,000. Also, the Tishomingo County Power Electric Association, we'd like to remind you we're still offering a rebate on hot water heaters from gas to electric and electric to electric. We are focused on providing efficient, reliable services to our TCEPA members. Good luck to all the Tishomingo County teams. Also, Mick Ryan Insurance, 9 3rd Street in Belmont, with the payments office at 1407 Battleground Drive. 
And I, you can, under the leadership of Tambra and Brandon Farr, 662-454-7831. Mark Chumley and Scotty Payne at Red Bud Supply. Good luck to the Cardinals. Daniels Garage, Jeff Daniels. Look him up on Facebook at Daniels Garage, 662-279-2622. Also, Community Spirit Bank in Belmont for all your baking needs. Call Mike Montgomery and his staff, 454-0001. Deaton Funeral Home of Belmont and Red Bay served the area since 1945, now in the fourth generation of service. Also, good luck to the Cardinals from your Tishomingo County Chancery Clerk, Peyton Cummings. Mr. and Mrs. Bill and Donna Weatherford, Pam Moore, Kathy Callum at Belmont Pharmacy. We are a Tiffin Preferred Provider, 662-454-9902. And now coming to the plate is going to be number 21, Collier Clark, who came on the mound and in relief this afternoon. And number 15, Drew Edmondson in his own deck for the Cardinals here. As we're in the top of the seventh, that ball's going to be hit down to third base. It's going to be fair, long throw to first. And it's going to get away, and the runner's going to move down to second now. And he's going to hold up at second. As that'll be an E5. And he moved down to second on the pass ball, or on the ball that gets to the fence. And now coming in is going to be number 20, Elijah Rogers. He's courtesy running this afternoon for the man on the mound, Kyer Clark. Now 15, Drew Edmondson, the DH, comes to the plate now for the Cardinals. No outs, runner down at second. Okay, a lot still on the hill for the for Boonville. And that first pitch is a ball. That ball's going to be fouled away over on the first base side. A one one count here with no outs. Cade Lott, the lefty, still on the mound for Boonville. And that pitch is going to be high and outside. Well, that's going to bring you count at two balls in one strike now. If you hadn't liked or shared a broadcast, we ask that you do it. Give us a go, Cardinals. Go, Blue Devils. As we're in Region 1 3A action this afternoon. As that ball's going to be driven up the middle. Four base hit, and a run's going to come around here to the plate. And he's in there safe, but they hold the runner at first. So now your score is 9-1. to one. And now coming to the plate is going to be 18. That's Mr. Parker Stanley, the sophomore for the Cardinals. He's got a runner down at first here with no outs. That's a strike down the middle as that was a base hit there. And that's a community spirit deposit check anywhere from mobile check deposits. That breaking pitch misses outside, so it's going to be a one and one count now. Pitch is high, so it's going to be a 2-1 count here to Parker Stanley. He's going to hit that ball. It's going to be dead away center. Center field is going to come make the play for out number one. So now coming to the play, it is going to be number 14, Chris Reagan. He comes to the plate. He's got a runner at first here with one out. He shows bunt again. He did that earlier, and he also was a slash swinger. That pitch misses high for ball one.
That ball's hit dead away center again. Center fielder's going to come in, make the short out. And that'll be out number two. Cardinal trying to get something started here in the top of the seventh inning as the score is nine to one here. Two outs. And coming to the plate at the top of the order now for the Cardinals. That's southboard, number 24, Peyton Farr, second baseman. That pitch gets away from the catcher. Runner's going to go down to third, second. So good base running by. He's going to hit that ball again, straight away center. And center field is going to get under it. He's going to make the out number three. So that will be your ball game here in Region 1 3A action as the Boonville Blue Devils are victorious in a 9 to 1 ball game over the Belmont Cardinals here as Cade Lott on the mound pitches a three hit, one run game here in Varsity Action on WRMG Television 12 and 97. Jack Ivy broadcasting your hometown station, bringing you hometown events. It's been my pleasure tonight to be here in this beautiful facility at Northeast Mississippi Community College, bringing you the action. Again, this is David Leatherwood saying good night. God bless. Y'all have safe travels. <laughs>